12 of RV Dream Makers. And in this episode, we give our drone footage of the area we stayed in Sedona. Um, and when we went to Montezuma Well, which is uh, southeast of Sedona, not very far, but you got to kind of um, go around to get to it. Uh, we had to go into Cottonwood, cut across, and then go up. Uh, so um, we... Anything else on this episode? A lot of drone footage of our area. I know we spent a lot on that. And the well was very interesting. We found a lot of dwellings around that we did this time in Sedona rather than a lot of the hikes. We did a lot of the dwellings and stuff, and there's a lot of history in that area. Yeah. All right, we hope you enjoy this episode. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by. But I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing and all.
about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you? The cliff dwelling to the left um, Then I tell people because they're not usually expecting it to be there the well itself is fascinating if you like new and different kinds of stuff. We're getting a thousand gallons every minute into the well. We have creatures that exist nowhere else in the world. It's created its own ecosystem. So lots going on up there. If you like that kind of stuff, read the signs. It talks about our divers, what they've done. There's um, where the water's coming from, all that kind of stuff. This is a potential drop down trail here. We call it the Swallet. It's where there's some, a cave and some dwellings. Um, it also talks about the water leaving the well. Um, I will tell you it's about 110 steps down, feels like 220 coming up, absolutely doable but I like people to know before they get to the bottom. On the uh, loop you'll also see some Pueblo ruins and then this is a second drop down trail where the water came out of rock, would have gone into Beaver Creek. The natives were already farming both sides of the creek though so they felt like that water was being wasted so they created a seven mile irrigation canal in around the year 900 still works today, it still leaks today, but it is what it is. If you do everything, you're still at only a half mile. Okay? Okay. So on the drop down trail here, we won't miss these ruins though? No, because what you're going to do, you'll go up, then instead of taking the loop right away, you'll go down this way, you'll do this, you'll come back up, and then you oh, continue okay. your Oh, okay, so loop. you come back up. So you okay. come back up. Okay. High levels of dissolved carbon dioxide eight times higher and most likes make fish impossible, make life impossible for fish, amphibians, amphibians, and some aquatic insects. The well is the world's only home for five species, including a miniature shrimp looking amphion, a leech, a tiny snail, a water scorpion, and a type of one cell plant called the diatom. There's the well. Yeah. Okay. It says between 10,000 and 13,000 years yeah. ago, precipitation atop the Mago, Muga, it's pronounced, I know it looks like M-O-G-O-L-L-O-M, but it's pronounced Mugulin, Mugulin, Mugian rim began percolating down through hundred of yards of rock, basalt flows, coconino, sandstone. Well, maybe I should have you just a little bit. Okay, there's dwellings. Going down to another ruin down here somewhere. So it's 110 steps down, but 220 back up. That's what she said it feels like. says it puts in 1.6 million gallons per day. But it also drains out. Probably close to that much. Because evidently it doesn't move. Ooh, cave. White nose syndrome is a dangerous skin disease. Towns and big ear bats. Many indigenous people have long held culture restrictions against the disturbing place of their ancestors. When European Americans came to the Verde Valley, they were intrigued by archaeology sites. 
Most saw them as abandoned, with artifacts free for the taking. Sites became popular for picnics, photograph, and souvenir hunting. These actions took place at a time before we gave archaeologic sites to protection, their importance, warrants, and their fragility requires. Hopi oral history tells us of their Anderson, an, ancestors built the rooms around Montezuma Well. George Eights Rock Roth Roth Rock pioneering Arizona photographer took advantage of the site's popularity painted this advertisement on the rocks overhead eighteen can't tell what year that says eighteen thirteen now that can't be right he wouldn't be able to take photos have to be like eighteen seventy three I'm guessing. Eighteen ninety six, eighteen ninety one. Okay, so right here is how it drains out every day. 1.6 million gallons enters, and then it drains out here every day. There's a hole down in there. And we should be going down to that a little bit. But you can see it flowing. And now it runs off down into a canal and a beaver creek. Perfect setup for that. Okay. Here's Montezuma Castle. Here's Tuzagut. Here is Montezuma's well right there. Um, you will read that. But all around there, the colors, it says the triangles are Pueblo 13 to 30 rooms. The squares are Pueblos 31 to 45 rooms. The blue squares, that was the purple squares, are Pueblos 46 to 85 rooms. The green circles are Pueblos 80 six to 165 rooms the brown circles are pueblos 166 to 300 rooms and chavez pass up there by itself was a thousand thirty seven rooms that tree is 300 years old back there pictures of it from the 1870s and when the photography was the 1870s and that's where it comes out and then the irrigation ditch that they they yeah, built goes seven miles. Go seven miles. Yeah. But that's where it comes out from Montezuma as well. this episode um, as you saw a couple places on there Samson he looked good and this was in March and uh, he took a nose I mean he just steadily declined 
since March, and uh, uh, we lost him uh, last Monday. Uh, so our travel companion uh, for our last year and a half of traveling, and um, he was always out there hiking with us or wanting to do everything with us. He enjoyed traveling and seeing different sites. It was neat for him uh, and exploring, and uh, he's going to be a big miss uh, for us personally. Um, and uh, we, I know a lot of you saw the video Michelle put together on, uh, it was just a short one on uh, uh, Facebook, but uh, she's making a big video. Um, you know, it's going to be on the YouTube channel, but it's mainly for her and our kids and for our parents, people we know that knew him quite well to uh, be able to watch. But uh, anyway, uh, the renovations are coming along. Um, a lot of... Uh, lot of renovations so I uh, can't wait to do that video that probably won't come out till November and December we still have what do we got left to, to show for the next few months we'll have two more Sedona's and then I don't know one possibly two of the things that we saw on the way home right and we're a week late because last week yeah Sunday just got away from us on doing everything and then uh, Monday, it kind of has been a whirlwind week, so that's why we're kind of a, a week late on putting this one out. Yeah, so remember God loves you, but only Jesus can save you. See ya. I will always be with you. Makes no difference where your road takes you to. Even if we're apart, now we're joined at the heart. Though our moment may be gone, you and I will still live on. I will always be with you. I'll be by your side, whatever you do. Other memories may fade, but the ones that we made are eternal as a star. Now I'm part of who you are.